rappers and music producers. It's Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com, and I'm sure many of you have a question for me. Curtis King, why do you continue to dress like a golfer? I've been seeing you in your Nike stuff. Why, what are you, why are you dressing like a golfer? There's something behind it, and I want to share that particular ideology with you today. Let's talk about it. Rappers and music producers, maybe you've seen me before when I have my full fit. This ain't my full fit. I got my, my floral shirt on today. Shout out to my lady who was like, you look good in that. We ain't talking about that today. But you see me in my polo shirts that match along with my Nike hat, my Nike golf hat. And I started doing this. I started to wear this for a specific reason. And it's not because I golf. I don't golf. It's just that I'm familiar with the game of golf to a certain degree and been a fan of Tiger Woods for quite some time. Phil Mickelson's and somebody else I've been a fan of. And that being said, I was introduced to a mindset from my buddy Art Barr, someone that I've rapped with for many, many years and some that we have these kind of philosophical conversations all the time and he brought something to my attention before I actually started wearing all the stuff that made me inspired to want to start putting it on as a reminder of this particular uh, way of thinking about life. So Arbar said that he had basically been studying a few different speakers and one speaker made a great point using a golf ball as a symbolic example of a point. If anybody knows anything about golf, you know, I believe it was the Dutch who in the very beginning, the first golf balls were actually like wood right they, they were like very solid all the way around if you look at that golf ball in comparison to the golf ball now they have many different dimples right now if you ask the people who study you know golf balls they will tell you that the dimples are there for wind resistance basically meaning that it'll make the ball go even higher and further now the speaker that art came in contact with said something that I thought was very well put and beautiful to make that connection between life and the golf ball Here's the thing about it. When we come into this world as human beings, we come in untouched, right? We come in here, we, we haven't had the dimples that life can sometimes apply to us. And the dimples signify the pain, the dimples signify the setbacks, the dimples signify the harsh reality of being a human being, right? The dimples represent all the things that some of us try to avoid, but those are the things that literally in the long run will help us further. Help us resist the wind. Help us to avoid, not even avoid, but fight through pain even easier because why we have been trained and we have naturally been designed. You follow me? We have naturally been designed to resist the issues, to resist the wind, to move even smoother through any terrain that you put us in. We're good. So think of the golf ball in the context of your music career. Okay, many of you, if you've been a part of the traditional music industry, I'm sure you got horror stories. If you've been a part of even the more modern music industry, you've probably been scammed before. And every single time that you had these setbacks where somebody promised you something and it just left you in pain because you didn't get that and it cost you money, or the times that you invested into somebody's services to help your music and it didn't actually pan out, the times that you had to quote unquote take L's, the times that people just literally just punched you up left and right, maybe physically or figuratively, that was putting dents into your proverbial golf ball your body your life and who you are and I can tell you I am the product of many different dents experienced in this music industry I don't wear it as a badge of honor I don't wear it and say oh I'm in pain y'all should feel bad for me it's not a I don't want you to feel bad for me I want you to see how powerful those dents have become a lot of people maneuver through life trying to be like the Dutch original golf ball, just be wooden all the way around and be smooth. You wanna be untouched. You wanna have people never mess with you. You wanna have life never jack you up. But you know what? Sometimes life gotta grab your ass by the shoulders, by the collars and be like, listen to me fool. If you don't get this done, you ain't gonna never get it done. And you can be like, okay, okay, I'll listen to you. I'll listen to you. I listen to you, I'm sorry. Sometimes you gotta have that happen. But even more so than that, it's not even about life punking you, it's about the fact that those ridges, I thought it was such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful symbolic message that those dents and those ridges are literally what end up making you fly to higher flights. They literally guide you along your way by teaching you lessons that some people just never experience. They take you on a journey that will basically ensure that you will see success that many people around you won't see because they're so busy trying 
trying to be smooth around the edges. When you, with all your dents and all your crevices and all your different indentations, maybe even flaws, somebody may even call that, you are perfectly perfect as is and you're going to fly to higher flights because of not just the fact that you've been beat up, not because of the fact that you've experienced setbacks and pains, but because you have not let that stop you and now you are empowered by what you have experienced. Now you are able to fly to higher flights. Embrace yourself as the golf ball that you are, my friends. In this life, you would not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com Please subscribe to the channel below. CurtisKingCurtisKingBeats.com